Hello! Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make fatira with spinach and cheese. First step, add one tablespoon of yeast and one tablespoon of sugar to one cup of warm water. Mix it and put it aside to rise. Bring a bowl, add three cups of bread flour. I like to sift my flour to get rid of clumps and lumps. And add half teaspoon of salt. Pour it in a mixer bowl and let it mix all together and add one and a half tablespoon of olive oil Add three tablespoon of yogurt, any type of yogurt you want, but me, I like to use Greek yogurt. It's the best for me. Bring the yeast that we made before to rise. Add it to the, mi to the mixer. I'm sorry, I'm messy here. It's okay, we all make a mess. Don't worry, we'll clean it later. Knead it for 10 minutes. Now drizzle olive oil in a bowl and pour the dough into the bowl. Put some olive oil in your hand, pat it, fix the dough and just see how it is. It's very, very soft. It doesn't have to be liquidy or dry. That's how it is. See how it is? It's very nice and soft. Just cover it leave it to rise double in size for half hour or a one hour now i'm bringing the vegetable spinach cut the spinach i did some before just to show you how the all uh, the onion one small onion just chop it and add it to the spinach now we go to the uh, feta cheese it's like uh, seven seven ounce of feta cheese and we have uh, mozzarella cheese or two, say 14 ounce or 12 ounce, whatever. If you love to put more, put more, I love cheese. Now add half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of chili flakes. And there is a little, little salt, so it doesn't get salty. You know, you put the, the cheese, don't forget the cheese because the cheese is salty. Don't worry, you can use a frozen spinach or fresh spinach. I love fresh spinach. I love to use fresh. Now uh, my dough is rice, double in, in size. See how it is? Drizzle some, be generous to put some flour on the surface and work it out. Now the trick, just drizzle some flour on the top of the dough so you can handle it, you can work it out. See how it is on my hand, see? Turn here, turn there, you don't have to, don't need it, just make sure add more flour so you can handle it, you can see how it is? It's very easy. See? Don't get scared. And make sure work with your with your fingers, you know. See how it is, how I'm doing. See, with your fingers, with the flour, it helps you. Now I'm preparing the dough to put, to fill up with the spinach, cheese, onion, and spices that I just prepared before. Spread it make it a little bit you know thin not thick because it's gonna rise again you're gonna put it on a tray and it's gonna rise so just open it open don't get scared it's okay you didn't do it uh, uh, perfect square or 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 uh, rectangle or whatever just 
you'll find out. See, you can, uh, this dough can stretch too. You can stretch it. See, like I said before, drizzle some oil just to, to bring the more taste. See, just mix it good. Mix it very well. Now bring one big spoon. Make sure be generous so it doesn't, you know, see how it is. Now you can fold. Very easy. You can stretch the dough too. Stretch it. Now there is some, see even the dough is a little bit sticky, but you can work with it. Put some, pour some, you know, flour so the, the, the thing, the dough doesn't stick. Doesn't give you a hard time when you pick it up later and let it rise. For maybe, it depends, for 15 minutes, it depends. When you see it a little bit doubled on in size, it's it, you start cooking and use any pan, frying pan, uh, skillet, anything. Just drizzle some olive oil. I love olive oil. I love to work with olive oil because it is tasty and healthy. I don't use the other oil. My my work is all olive oil. So you just put it. Don't get scared of it. It's not gonna stick in your hand. It's just drizzle on the top olive oil and just brush it with the, with the brush on the top and let it cook. It will cook. And make sure put it, uh, if you use this thing, you know, the, the one I'm cooking on, just put it in 400. It's okay. But if you're using the, uh, the, the, the stove, Put it like medium high because the stove burns fast. See, I like to use this because I put multiple ones. I don't like to stay standing and cooking one by one on the frying pan or, or skillet. This one takes three, four. Use the spatula if it's hot, you can't tolerate the heat. Just use spatula and move it left or right so it cooks even. See, you make sure there is all the oil and just brush it on top. See how it is? Just move it. Move it here and there and it just to make it even. You can use uh, feta, uh, feta cheese or any type of cheese. It doesn't have to be, some people don't like feta cheese. You can put also chicken or meat, anything. You fill up with any type of filling, you know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.